Welcome back to our cloud infrastructure series. Today, we're going to explore the OCI console, your gateway to managing Oracle Cloud services. To get there, you need to open cloud.oracle.com. When you're gonna enter this, you'll be redirected to the login page. In my case, I'm already logged in, so I will skip that step. But in here, yeah, what you're gonna see on the right, yeah, you're gonna see the tenancy name. And in here, you're gonna have another menu that is called operational services. And with that one, if you're gonna open that page, you're gonna see the status of all OCI services around the globe, okay? As you can see, a lot of services. Now, on the left, in here, after near Oracle Cloud, we are calling this hamburger menu. And when you're gonna click on the uh, hamburger menu, you're gonna see all the primary services, yes, as different menus. First one are the core services, compute, storage, networking, and Oracle database. And after that, yeah, we can go to drill down to more advanced services like uh, uh, analytics and AI, developer services, okay, identity and security, observability and management, and so on. Now, if you look uh, on the top of the screen, yeah, and click anywhere else from this menu, on the top of the screen, you're gonna see that you have a region where you are subscribed, okay? A region means that you are in a location around the globe where your data, it is stored. In this case, yeah, you are in Germany, and in Germany, yeah, you have three availability domains. An availability domain, can be considered a different data center or a different group of data centers where your data can reside. So, next thing that you can see in here, in the console, yeah, on after you log in, you have a profile picture. When you click on your profile, you're gonna see what is your name, yeah, what is the username, what is the identity domain where it is resides. So you can have multiple identity domains in your tenancy and your tenancy name again. And if you're gonna click on my profile, you'll be redirected automatically to the identity menu under your domain and in here you'll be able to see details related to your users. What is the group that is part of it? If you have API keys attached to it, if you have different tokens generated, custom secrets and so on, okay? And if you're using uh, an integration with uh, the Oracle databases, you can also see the database password that you can create it from here, yeah, for this user. Okay. Now, going back again to the main page in here, you see you have a menu that is called Getting Started. With Getting Started, if you have used pre before uh, the console, you are able to navigate very quick to different uh, services. Or if you are first time in here and you want to do something very simple, you can use the Quick Start menu. You can click Deploy a Baseline Landing Zone. Automatically, you'll be redirected to the stack uh, part, yeah, a resource manager, as you can see in here in the browser. And in here, it's doing a short explanation on what are the services, how they're gonna be used and uh, applied. You press continue. And if you're gonna click start deployment, you will use the existing Terraform scripts that will create something for you automatically. Yeah? So you can enable also logging for everything that you have in there and so on. This is just a simple service. Other thing important, yeah, you, if you want to create a new VM instance, you are new and you don't know that uh, uh, how to do it, you also can use this quick menu. You click on the menu, you are redirected to the create the instance, and that's it. You select the shape, you select what are the images that you want to use, and the location, the VCN, the network, and so on. So this is available for most of the main uh, uh, for core services that you've seen it before. And also, yeah, you're gonna see here on feedback questionnaire if you like uh, the console or if you want to give some feedback uh, for things that you really don't like. Okay, now, if you created the resources before or you want to find something and you don't know where to go in the console, use this search console in here. So in here, I want to look, let's say maybe for the compute. Yeah, simple one. I'll click compute. When I'm gonna click compute in here, it's gonna show me things related to the services. And if I had a compute instance created or something like that, yeah, I should be also be able to see it in here. Okay? Thank you and uh, see you on the next um, video from this series.